scrapping a uh, home satellite receiver box. Uh, of course, as always, safety first. Got gloves on. Got eye protection on. Storming outside, so a better time to make a video. I've got two different styles here: the older style uh, receiver boxes and the uh, newer style receiver boxes. The older style receiver boxes are just going to have metal in them and nothing really for e-waste. This is the old style boxes from, you know, the the 80s, where you had to, to change your disc or your satellite from uh, west to east and all that kind of stuff to pick up uh, different satellite channels and stuff. So it's going to have four screws, one on each side or two on each side, and you just open it up. Uh, of course, that's going to be a top panel for your uh, uh, metal waste. This brown board that's in there is not going to be really uh, uh, worth anything. Maybe low grade at, at the most. You're going to get uh, a couple of pennies a pound. And you got a transformer there that's uh, completely encapsulated. You can take those that out and unwind wind the copper out of it. And there is an LCD board there in the front of it. But Basically, as far as e-scrap, there's very little value to the uh, the older style. It's very heavy, though, with that uh, uh, transformer. So we'll set that aside. Now, with the newer style uh, satellite receiver boxes, first thing you want to do is open that up, and in there is the satellite receiver card, uh, and that's got a little bit of gold on the back of it. I've seen people, uh, you know, have those listed on uh, flea bay, and you have to have several cars to really get any money for, for that. But there's some e scrappers will take it. Now these is usually got a set of screws all the way across the back. Sometimes I'll have them on the side, but I've took a couple of these out to speed things up. So you'll take a, a T10 torque uh, head and uh, go ahead and get that screw out. Again, that's going to go in just your uh, shred metal. This is a two-sided green board. You want to set that <coughs> aside. And uh, these boards usually are held in uh, with a couple screws, and sometimes they'll have these little uh, tabs. I don't know if you can see that or not. And you just take your your pliers or whatever and bend that tab around to where it lines up again. Uh, with the slot to release that. It's just, just basically a uh, bent metal uh, that holds that board in place. You want to try to keep everything on, on the board as well as you can. Uh, like I said on, in earlier videos, uh, if you start taking stuff off of a board, you, you may reduce the, the value of the board. And this uh, satellite receiver box boards most of the time are going to be a, a number one grade board. Uh, so you want to try to keep everything on there. And once those are bent those clips out of the way, just pop that loose there. And uh, there's the board. And I can see a little bit of gold there on the side of that uh, uh, Broadcom processor. Uh, and you just leave that board the way it is. Everything else, there is uh, sometimes a board on the, the inside, closer to the, the card side that's going to have, uh, this doesn't seem to have one in it. So you just take the rest of that, like that will go in your scrap, your shred pile for your steel. And uh, there's a good board, leave that alone. And, and where I'm sending my uh, e-scrap right now that is uh, 260 pound so it doesn't take many of those to get uh, you know, a couple pounds uh, together and I am going to be having a video posted I may try to get it done tonight on the different styles of boards and different types of uh, e-waste and uh, show you where I send mine how I send mine and uh, so you guys can make some money so that's uh, scrapping for e-waste a home satellite receiver box so uh thanks for watching and uh happy scrapping